Hi guys, Jason Baron coming at you once again from Gadsden, Alabama. Welcome back to my channel. And this is my dog, Zelda. She is 12 years old and she's not got her face towards the camera right now, but she is totally blind or near totally blind as a result of diabetes. Mm. Hey, sweet girl. Uh, usually when I do a cooking video, I am cooking recipes for you and your human family but it is very important to keep our animal friends healthy as well because they are family members too and so in this video I'm going to show you a recipe for homemade diabetic dog food that will not only keep your furry baby healthy but will save you a lot of money because those store-bought diabetic dog foods can cost about a hundred dollars a bag and depending on the size of your dog it may not last very long Zelda here is in the 80 pound range and that will last her about three days so let's get started okay now as always before you make this recipe make sure to check with your veterinarian to make sure these ingredients are approved for your furry friend. These are approved for Zelda. So, and this recipe, by the way, makes 24 cups. So, for Zelda, that's about six days worth because she gets four cups a day, two cups per feeding. And if your dog is larger you're going to have to make this more often and if you have a smaller dog you may have to either adjust the proportions for your dog or you can get make put the uh, things into individual containers and put them in the freezer as needed but here's what you're going to need to make this recipe you're going to need four pounds of ground turkey you're going to need four cups of brown rice you're going to need one can of pumpkin for, well technically you're going to need four tablespoons out of that can <laughs> you're going to need four cups of fresh spinach and you're going to need a 12 ounce package of frozen green beans now the green beans and the rice make sure you cook according to package instructions and here are the tools you're going to need to make this recipe for your dog you're going to need a food processor a large pot to blanch the, the spinach and brown the meat in you're going to need a colander to drain the meat of the fat and a bowl to catch the fat you are going to need a strainer to remove the spinach from the water because you're not going to want to put the water into the uh, food processor you are going to need a something to cook the rice in in this case I will be using a pampered chef rice cooker that goes into the microwave you're going to need something to keep the recipe in the food in for your dog in this case, I have a 24 ounce container, Tupperware type container that I got from Dollar Tree that I will be using. And you are going to need a whisk to mix everything together once you put it in. And now here's what you're going to do. You're going to start with cooking the frozen green beans. Um, they, these are microwavable. Um, you're going to cook those and while you're waiting for those to get done you're going to put four tablespoons of the pumpkin into the food processor when the 
that when the green beans come out, open them up, put them into the food processor. Next, you're going to bring some water to a boil in the pot. Once it's boiling, you're going to put the spinach into the pot. And then immediately, immediately, you're going to take it off the heat, remove it with the strainer, put it into the food processor, and then... You're going to put the lid on, turn the food processor on, and blend it all together until it's a nice orangey-green paste. Next thing you're going to do, at least in my case, I find this easiest to do in this order, is you're going to brown your meat after you have drunk the water out of this pot, of course. You're going to brown your meat, and you're going to empty it into the colander which is sitting in the bowl and leave it there while you cook your rice again according to instructions once the rice is cooked you are going to empty it first into your container then you are going to put in the paste from the food processor and finally the meat, you're going to mix it all together and then you're going to put it into your refrigerator to cool off and thicken before you serve it to your dog. Yours, or, yours may like it hot, but Zelda won't eat hers until it's cooled off. So, just a little benefit of experience here. But, now that I've told you what you need and what you're going to need to do with the steps, that's everything. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I will show you the finished product. Alright guys, if you've done everything correctly, this is what your finished product should look like. Now get a spoon and a measuring cup. Measure it out for your dog and let your dog enjoy. Alright. Food is done. Oh, oh. Now it's time to feed her. She loves this stuff. Oh, oh. I'm as fast as I can oh. get it, baby. Every day. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Gotta measure out two cups. Oh. There we are. It's coming, sweet baby. You hungry? Come on. Come on. And there you have it. Alright guys, that's the video. If you found it useful, please give me a like and a subscribe to the channel. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Until then, peace.